before they go in, they think that books are just these printed words on paper in a hardcover. After the presentation, they have this bigger scope of what a book is and how it has mattered across time and to all people. We take them through 5,000 years of history, starting with clay tablets in Mesopotamia, moving through papyrus scrolls, then into the Middle Ages with uh, parchment books written with quill and pen up to the invention of the printing press. At the very end, we talk about artist books and Kindles or e-readers. The oldest thing that we take a look at is called a cylinder seal, and that is dated to be 3,000 years old. I actually allow the students to hold and touch the books. They get to open them and experience these books firsthand. You're making them feel so important that they get to touch these things that have been around for eons. That gives these kids a sense of, I don't know, power holding these treasures. And I think that is really very special. They can see that books scan this whole scope of things that all the writing looks different. Sometimes it is illustrations. Sometimes it is words and illustrations. So hold up the W shape. I'll make sure that we're all there. And if you're not, then I'll help you out. So you want it to look like a W with a tab. I have had students who've kept the little card who continue to make their own stories, whether it's in a picture form or with word form. I've had some of my lower reading level students create these stories that they're willing to share. And they're excited about it. It absolutely supports that feeling of success and confidence in literacy. I love that the program has so much diversity with what you show so that there's something for everybody. The Book Arts Treasure Chest doesn't only support history. We talk about artist books. Artist books are very exciting. They might not look like a traditional book. One of the students' favorite books is a car flip book. When they see it, it doesn't look like a book at all. It's exciting for the students to see books that they might not even have to read, but that they can experience. Really opening up the world of books into these new areas of experiencing the whole object as a physical art object meant to be played with, meant to be looked at, meant to be explored. There's something about our five senses, using that smelling, that seeing, that holding, that turning, that being involved. There's something about the tactile nature that you don't get from a swipe. It gives students who are artists a new avenue that is kind of off the traditional path. Not quite sculpture, not only writing, not only illustration, but a combination of all these things. I also really enjoy how at the end of your presentation you show them the e-reader and how it is so close to the tablet. It's a really great thing for my students to understand that books change over time, but the fact that we still want to tell stories and read stories has never changed.